the what i'm going to teach you is called differentiation they call it differentiation suppose y is a function of x suppose y is equal to 2x or y is equal to 4x plus 5 or y is equal to x square or y is equal to x cube plus 9 or y is equal to root x plus 5x plus 2 or y is equal to x ki power 1 by 3 plus sin x whatever it is when we have cases like these then y is said to be the function of x that means y is dependent on x for a particular value of x you will always have a particular value of y there is a one to one relation between x and y y can be put as dependent on x now these th kind of situation in in these kind of situation we say that y is a function of x fine so instead of explicitly mentioning what is that relation between x and y sometime we just write y is equal to fx that means y is a function of x that function can take any form but somehow y is dependent only and only on x okay so suppose y is actually function of x we write y is equal to fx now we define a quantity called dy by dx dy by dx is called differentiation of y with respect to x or change in y with respect to x for example let's consider a simple linear equation y is equal to 2x plus 3 now at x is equal to 0 where x is 0 y is 3 fine now when we increase the value of x correspondingly the value of y will also increase now for example if we make x is equal to 0.001 then y you can do the calculation will become 2 times 0.001 plus 3 that means y will become 2.001 plus 3 Oof, 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 oof. y will become 0.002 plus 3 that means y will become 3.002 now we have increased x by certain amount and y has increased by certain amount when the increment or the decrement for that matter is substantially less then the change is represented by d when you have you you must have studied in the earlier classes you you must have used a symbol of delta like most usually you must have used delta for q d delta q change in heat when you have a change which is substantial then you use the symbol delta for the change when you have a change like delta x when the change is very less it is infinitesimally small very very small then you use a symbol d dx dx means the change in x and that change is supposedly very very small fine so you have a change in x dx dx here is 0.001 this is dx change in x dy dy would be change in y dy here is 0.002 now if you have to calculate change in y with respect to x that means dy by dx matlab if you, when you are changing x by certain amount then by what factor y is changing dy by dx dy here is 0.002 dx here is 0.001 so dy by dx is actually 2 this is what dy by dx means dy is change in y dx is change in x so dy by dx is change in y upon change in x so this is actually change in y with respect to x that means if change in x is 2 times and change in y is 4 times 
then dy by dx is 2. A change in x is 1 time and change in y is 2 times, then also dy by dx is 2. dy by dx is a fraction. Change in y upon change in x. We say it differentiation of y with respect to x. That means when you are changing x, then there is some changing in the change in the value of y. There is some difference in the value of y. So change in change in x is actually causing certain differentiation in the value of y. This is called differentiation of y with respect to x. Now y could have been dependent on other independent variable like z. So in that case, we would have written dy by dz. That means change in y with respect to z. It depends on which variable y is dependent. And with respect to that variable, we can find the differentiation of y. Fine? So this dy by dx is going to be with you as long as you study maths and physics and chemistry even for that matter. So dy by dx is something that's going to be in your blood as long as you do your study. dy by dx. dy by dx is called differentiation of y with respect to x. It is also called derivative of y with respect to x. And it is also represented with symbol y dash. y dash means dy by dx. I'm assuming that y is dependent on x. If y is dependent on z, then y dash would, would mean dy by dz. If y is dependent on an independent variable p, then y dash would mean dy by dp. Whatever variable it is dependent on. So here we are taking y is dependent on x. So y dash would mean dy by dx. Fine. So finding dy by dx in this case was pretty simple. You found, you had a small change in x. You found the corresponding change in y and you had dy by dx. Now I took for a particular value and for a particular range. What we have to do, you take for another set of point and another set of range. You change the range and, range and the value, but you will still discover that dy by dx will still come out to be 2. Whatever set point you are taking and whatever range of drift in the value you are taking, this is not going to change. dy by dx will come out to be 2 in every cases. I took x 0. You could have taken x is equal to 2 and then you could have increased x by certain amount. Let's say x, you next value you take x of x as 2.004. Then you find correspondingly y here and y here. You find dx. dx here is 0.004. You find dy and find dy by dx. Do that. If you do that, you will find that dy by dx is actually coming to be 2 in every cases that you take dy by dx is constant here. You could have, you, you easily found dy by dx because it's an easy, simple, linear equation. Now, in other cases, when the relation between y and x is not going to be very simple, the calculation of finding dy by dx is also not going to be very simple. For example, if you have y is equal to root x plus x to the power 3 by 2 plus sine x. Let's not make it so complicated. Plus 2. Then in this case, if you have to find what is y at x is equal to 0. Now at x is equal to 0, it's pretty simple. y is equal to 2. But what will be y when x is equal to 0 0.004? Now in this case, it will not be a very, very simple and easy task to find what is y at this point. So finding dy by dx will be a little bit tricky and difficult. Now in order to make things simple, People have worked things out and we just have to know what is the shortcut of actually doing it, of finding dy by dx. Now I'm giving you a formula without any proof, leaving it up to your maths teacher to give you the proof or I'll give you at the later stage, but not now. I'll give you a formula without giving any proof and we will accept that formula on the face of it.